Hello and welcome to the Universe Sandbox 2 Alpha 20 Experimental Build. We're getting pretty close to the actual Alpha 20 release, so let's look at what's actually new in it, and let's check out what we're going to be seeing. Now we're going to click on the Experimental Release Notes, so that we actually know what's going on at the moment. But, other than that, uh... Well, we have a little bit of channel news. We do actually have a new sponsor, Nodecraft, my server hosting company. Been hosting with them for like four years to run Nerdcraft, is now sponsoring our channel. So, if you use coupon code SPOOKVOOPER, yes, yeah, SPOOKVOOPER, you can get 30% off your first server, which, for even a nice one gigabyte server, that's only six dollars for a month, which is, that's that's a steal. Now I'm going to stop uh, shilling myself. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, I'm going to stop and let's actually look at what is new in Universe Sandbox 2. So first off, the UI is very different. Um, well, it's not very different. It just feels different. Some of the letters are kind of blurry. I'm sure they will work on that though. Uh. Other than that, right off the bat, I don't see anything super new. Let's quickly look at edit. Does the edit menu look different? Not really. Not really. Not really. Okay, what about add? When I'm adding something in. It is a hologram. That is awesome. So it appears we have holographic placements now which is very useful so that you can actually see like where you're putting it before you place it and then it completely destroys whatever you're placing it on it looks like the texture change for earth I'm not a hundred percent sure but at least the light map looks more HD once again can't be a hundred percent sure on that Ooh, a spook. What does Spook Vooper look like in this? Uh, if we can find Spook Vooper. Uh, spook Vooper, how are you doing in this? Oh, you look fabulous. Okay, as long as Spook Vooper is looking nice. So, that brings us on to number two, which is actually, let's quickly look at powers. So, laser. Woohoo! I don't know if we always had this. 500 watts. We need way more than 500 watts. Okay, once again, we're going to go new. We're going to place down Earth. And let's look at this laser. Okay. Power. I think this was always a thing. I've just never messed with it before. I think I'm actually heating up Earth. Or at least I just killed all the plant life on Earth somehow with this little tiny laser. 500 watts of energy and I've already killed everything. Okay, so if we turn this up to uh, terawatts and we'll turn this up to uh, one terawatt. It does not seem to be actually doing much. So let's turn it up to one million terawatts. We're still not doing much. We need more power. <laughs> Let's just throw a few zeros onto the end. Nope. Nothing much. I am not actually doing any damage, which is disappointing. Uh, let's go 1E plus 100. Okay. Okay. This isn't actually doing anything, and I don't think it's ever going to actually do anything. So let's just add a bunch of zeros. I think... I, 100 is the highest... This is the highest power laser we can get, and it's not actually doing any damage. What the heck? Why? And it's not the wavelength messing with it. So we cannot destroy things with the laser. At least not Earth. We are not doing any damage. But if we add in a tiny little asteroid. Let's add in 
Sedna and see if we can do anything to Sedna with the laser. We're going to have to delete Earth first so that the Rosh limit doesn't kick in. Nope. We are not doing anything. Nothing is occurring. Okay, so we're going to ignore the lasers for now because it doesn't seem to be doing anything and I feel like I'm getting off topic here. So, let's go new, new, and let's see if there's anything different about explosions, because that's important. So we got our holograms here. Boop, boop. And we, we are all ready to watch the imminent collision between the two words. Okay, it looks pretty similar. Nothing is striking me right off the bat as different. And okay, no secret changes there. And let's actually read the release notes now. <laughs> okay, how to go in. Improvements, UI and UX. Save load support between desktop and VR. Search panel now updates to f every five seconds for a list of bodies in simulation. Can now use keyboard to adjust property values. Body labels now scale according to boss of target body, but uh, mass of target body. New and updated tooltips. Do do other things. Ooh, or similarity and life likelihood are now percentages. That's actually useful. Smooth transition when reloading sim. Remove projected path from centermost body. Increase the click area of bodies on desktop and made hovering more transparent. Oh, good. This used to come up all the time on my video thumbnails and it would be very annoying. And it is actually a lot more transparent now, which is nice. Improved collision sound effects, good. Bodies now appear as holograms, we noticed that. Improved deco performance, okay. Simulation code now uses an entity component system. Makes it easier to track down bugs, that's good. Not for us though. Uh, well, yes for us, because things get fixed faster. Fixes, fix supernova type 1A, fix texture issues, fixed power issues, fixed shadows, fixed fireworks, blah, 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 blah. That's nothing super exciting. I think all the added stuff is coming later. Yeah, so that is, uh, <laughs> well, that wasn't much. Now, it is a huge under the hoods change, uh, under the hood change, but. Overall, it's not a ton of a change for us. So, I guess that's where the game's at right now. I'm, I apologize that I don't have anything super exciting for you guys. Uh, oh, known issues. Laser does not work properly. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Great. I spent so long doing that and it, it, it is actually broken in this version. So I'm going to hop off of this version and um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leak, leak. I do that every time, I swear. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and um, I will see you all next time. Don't forget our new sponsor, Nodecraft. I do have a link in the description. And next time I'll be coming at you with something actually really exciting. This is just kind of a filler-ish video for before that's here. So yeah, see ya. Also, by the way, um, stream probably probably going to be today or tomorrow you know what never mind i never scheduled them correctly so yeah um other than that charm would like to say goodbye and i think i think that's it i think we are actually done this video feels so bad Ugh. 
to upload or not to upload that is quite you know it still showed off the uh the things that changed in the experimental even if they aren't too big so yeah bye <laughs>